Hello, I'm Frances Coleman, Dean of Libraries at Mississippi State University. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the libraries and to extend to you a very special welcome to the Templeton Music Museum. In 1987, Starkville businessman Charles H. Templeton Sr. donated to MSU 200 musical instruments, 22,000 pieces of sheet music, and 13,000 records. Charles Templeton was a, a Starkville businessman who was just ha had a passion for music, and not only music, but, but the, the business of music is what he named the collection, because he was interested not only in the actual pieces themselves and the music, but who bought them and how did they use them in, the, in their homes or in their classrooms or their schools, and uh, so it just, just a passion for collecting and for the, the antiques and for restoration. I think it's a really special attraction for not not only the library, but for the university to offer, uh, just because of the, the sheer uh, magnitude of the collection and the, the years of music and instruments that it encompasses, and the appeal uh, really is just for young and old alike. The Templeton Music Museum offers the public a fascinating display of not only instruments, recordings, and sheet music, but also several examples of a famous record label's mascot, a dog nicknamed Nipper. Nipper is certainly a highlight of the museum, uh, and like I said, for young and old alike, everybody sort of likes to see Nipper. Uh, he, was, he is the RCA logo, still used today. You know, you, you'll recognize Nipper and Chipper. Uh, n they're all technically Nipper, but if there's a puppy involved, then he's Chipper. To increase awareness of the Templeton collection and introduce people to the sound of ragtime, MSU's libraries will host in 2009 the third annual Ragtime Jazz Festival with performances by world-renowned ragtime musicians. We have four performers coming this year. We have Mimi Blay coming back for the third time. We have Carl Sonny Leland, Butch Thompson, and Brian Holland. We're very excited to be hosting the festival this year. We certainly hope that people from all over the state and all over the southeast will come to the festival. Uh, the dates again are March 27th and 28th. Telling the story about the business of music to educate and inspire individuals throughout the world, now and for all time to come. The Bulldog Way.